medium man, physical medium man, physical medium man. What you buy? Was it something good? What's up, guys? Physical medium man back here again for another physical medium man Monday. Uh, I got part one of two of Black Friday shopping. This will be all the items that I picked up in stores. Uh, part two will be ones that I ordered online. Um, before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave feedback, do all that good stuff. Hit that bell notification. That way you can get notified every time I post a video. I'll leave the links to my Instagram as well as my Physical Media Man store Instagram where I'll have items for sale. If you're interested in any of those, you can contact me on there or any of the other uh, ways that you can contact me. Uh, my email, which will be listed, uh, and then the Facebook pages, the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store Facebook page, as well as the HodgePodge Garage where I'll be selling non-media related items. Um, I'll also leave the link to my film Aficionado uh, where you can follow along with uh, movies I'm after as well as my collection which is not completely up to date um, uh, before I get started uh, thanks so much guys for your support uh, I reached my goal of 100 subscribers over the weekend I'm very excited um, I'm going to do a bonus video here probably in the next week or two um, I'm going to do a, a giveaway for you guys for for subscribing and following along You'll just have to be a subscriber and comment. I might do like a question or something. I'll think of something. And I'm going to, I know I said I was going to do uh, the digital code for solo, but I'm going to try to get uh, some sort of Blu-ray. Um, since I'm physical media man, I got to gotta have a giveaway for a physical item. So um, I'm going to go get ahead and get started. Um, on Thanksgiving night, uh, I went to a couple stores in a nearby town. Uh, first, I went to Best Buy. Um, some of this stuff I had already bought either on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving or um, on Thanksgiving doing online shopping. Um, let's see here. So we got 12 strong with slipcover for $5.99. Thought that was a good deal. Haven't checked this one out yet. Hers pretty good. Uh, next up, another one I wanted to see. We got Hidden Figures. Uh, no slip on this one, but it is Blu-ray DVD combo, $5.99. Uh, heard that was good. Looking forward to checking it out. Um, this one I have seen uh, for my Bruce Willis collection. We got Death Wish, um, which is the remake. Uh, enjoy this one. I have not seen the original though, so... Um, I don't know if that would have skewed my thought of it, but um, I enjoyed this one. So $5.99 Blu-ray DVD combo. Uh, been really wanting to watch this, so finally picked it up. We got Battle of, of the Sexes with Steve Carell and Emma Stone. Another one, I was almost unsure if I should pick it up or not, but I ended up deciding to do it. We got Murder, Murder on the Orient Express. Um... And this will also be for my uh, Johnny Depp collection, so I was bound to get it at some point. So happy to add that. Uh, next up was one I'll be returning one of them. I think I got the other one on Target. Uh, you'll see that whenever I have part two posted. But we got Paddington 2 Blu-ray DVD digital for $5.99. Um, and it came with a slip. So I feel like a lot of times when you do the onlines, you don't get the slip covers. So I just went ahead and picked up another copy just in case. Uh, thought this was a good deal. We got the MIB Trilogy uh, on Blu-ray for $5.99. I have the third one already on Blu-ray, so that will be for sale. And then I have one and two on DVD, so those will be for sale. Um, I got another 4K uh, for $7.99. Had to pick this one up. We got Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Uh, amazing movie. Looking forward to checking it out on 4K and it came with the slip cover too, so uh, great movie. I'll be back! Uh, and another 4, 4K, this one was uh, $14.99. I'm glad I waited. We got Ant-Man and the Wasp and this one came with the slip too, so I was kind of holding out on it because it was good but not as good as the first one, so 
and it's got the cool little lenticular uh, slip. So uh, next up, I heard this was pretty good, so I'm looking forward to checking it out as well. We got Ferdinand. Uh, I always enjoy watching animated movies on Blu-ray, so picked that one up. This one was another one I almost thought about putting back as well. I wanted to watch it last year when it came out. We got Offer's Christmas Party Unrated. Uh, so looking forward to watching this during December. And we got uh, Despicable Me 3 with slipcover. So I have the first two, so definitely had to pick this one up. And I have a Steve Carell collection, so... Um, next up we got Escape Plan 2 with uh, Stallone and Bautista. I have the first one of course because I'm a huge Arnie fan. Uh, but I also have a Stallone collection so I had to pick it up for that purpose as well. And then lastly uh, for $5.99 uh, is Sicario Day of the Soldado. Probably said that wrong. I think it was $5.99. Um, uh, yeah, $5.99, so, oh, that was a good deal, because that just came out not too long ago, and I hadn't watched it yet. I watched the first one, and really enjoyed it. I heard this one's more action-packed, and um, I'm looking forward to watching it. And I got two more here that I'm going to return, and you'll see why later in this video. We got Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and then Kingsman, the Golden Circle, with Slip. I might honestly do this for the giveaway. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on that down below. Um. But I'll show you why I was originally at least planning on returning those here once I get there. Um, and it was a zoo in Best Buy. I had to stand in line to get in the building. That line actually moved pretty quick. And that actually kind of made sense to me. Um, because then you don't have as many people in the store at once. Um, and I didn't have too much trouble going through the movies um they had them in awful location they were really hard to to see and then people kept trying to get in my way or not trying to but the it made them get in their way with how they had it set up and then i had to stand in line for like 45 minutes almost an hour um in line to check out and the, it's because they only have three registers it's not like they had registers open that a worker could have been working at um, they only had three that was their only option so it took forever um, so then the next store I hit up was one of my favorites and um, it opened an hour later than uh, Best Buy so I got there probably 20 or 30 minutes after they opened um, tried to meet up with my buddy he was going to go to Best Buy too when I went, um, but he left a little later. So by the time I got there, I told him how bad the line was and everything. He ended up just going to this store first. And by the time I got there, he was already checking out. So anyways, um, this might be kind of hard for me to find all these prices, but I'll, I'm going to try to do my best. Um, so this is disc replay. Um, you see it a lot in my videos. They were having a really great sale. So, um, Thanksgiving night and then that Friday, Black Friday morning, I think maybe until noon, something like that. It was 70% off DVDs and box sets, which I thought was amazing. And then they also had 30%, I think, off of Blu-rays and then 50% off of select video games. So I, I should have asked, but I don't know how they selected or they had them marked or, or how that worked with the video games. And there was something else they had to deal on. So again, I'm going to do my best um, to find the prices. I should have probably put these in order. Um, but I'm just going to start going through them. Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna break here. We're going to put them in order. All right, guys, I'm back. They're in order. Uh, actually, kind of took a while. Um, so go ahead and get started. First up, we got the American Pie 3 movie pie pack, all unrated. Uh, so American Pie 1, 2, and 3. Uh, was marked at $3.99. Got it for $1.20 with the 70% off. So um, I already had them, but um, it's going to save some more room. And I 
think one of them I had was not unrated, so um, decided to go ahead and get that. Next up, we got the first three seasons of Better Call Saul at, well, seasons one and two were three dollars, or no, season one was a dollar eighty. The other two ended up being three dollars a piece, so thought that was a really good deal. I watched uh, Breaking Bad, seen all of it. I love that show. Um, and was intrigued by this, so finally decided to pick it up. So great deals here. And here's season two and season three. So looking forward to watching that. Next up, we got one I bought to sell. I paid $4.50. We got the first season of Doogie Howser, MD uh, with Neil, Hatcher, Neil Patrick Harris. Um, it's worth a little bit more than that, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Next up, we got another season of Gilmore Girls. This is season five. Uh, paid $3 for it. So now we have two, four, five, and six, I believe. Um, I think I should be close to um, finishing How I Met Your Mother now. Uh, we got three seasons. One was $2.40, one was $1.80, and the last one was $1.20. So we got um, season five. Season 7 and Season 8. So happy about that. Next up is kind of random. We got three seasons of The Incredible Hulk, the original TV show with Lou Ferrigno. Um, paid $3 for one season, $1.80 for the other, and $2.40 for the last one. So we got uh, the complete first season. It's got this cool lenticular slip cover case thing. We got season four. Never watched this, so at the price, I thought it was definitely worth uh, picking up. Uh, we got another season of Jag. We got season two, so now I should have one, two, and three. This was a dollar eighty, so great deal there. We got two more seasons of King and Queens. Uh, they were $1.80 a piece. We got the seventh season and the fourth season. All right, so that's it for that stack. Uh, next up, we got the th complete third season of News Radio. Um, it was $1.20. Still on the side what I want to do with those at this point. Um, we might give it a shot and see what we think and then decide from there. Um, next up we got two seasons of The Office. These are towards the end of the show so they were more expensive. One, so season 8 was uh, 450 and season 9 was six dollars so still great deals um so i should have almost all of the show now i think um next up we got the fifth season of oz for a dollar eighty i've never watched this uh, like i said on some of the other videos so i think i should have one two three and five maybe or something i don't know i got a few seasons of it so picked it up and then, like i said it was only a dollar eighty so good deal we got random but I love this show as well but we got the third season of it uh, Parks and Rec so this is uh, the first first season I, I have of it so far and it was only a dollar eighty this one I was pumped about um, I haven't gone through all the discs on everything I think they'll be they'll play fine but they are in the best of shapes, but this deal is amazing. I've been on the hunt for this for over a year, probably two at least. Um, I have seasons one through three already of this show, and I've watched it. I don't remember if I watched all the seasons I bought, but I really enjoyed it. Huge Pierce Brosnan fan. So I've been wanting to buy seasons four and five for such a long time, and 
they're never on sale for a good price or anything like that. You're, they're at least $20, so I just never broke down and did it. Um, so this was only marked at $9.99, so I paid $3 for it. I was so excited. Um, but yeah, can't wait to, to um, go back and watch all these, but I'm really happy to add it to the collection and complete the show. Next up is three seasons of Scrubs, a dollar eighty a piece. We got the complete sixth season. I enjoy the show; it's pretty funny. Uh, the complete and final ninth season, and the complete third season. So happy to add those to the collection. Next up, we got Shield, the complete season four. So I should have one through four now. Um, this was only a dollar twenty. What a deal! Um, next up, I was pretty happy about this. Um, we got the Star Wars trilogy on DVD. Uh, I don't know. If I should have looked at this. I assume it's widescreen. It says digitally remastered. Um, yeah, it's widescreen. Good. Single discs, it looks like, on the DVDs. Um, but I only had, for whatever reason, I, of course, had the, the original trilogy on VHS. I got the box set of that. And then I had A New Hope and maybe Return of the Jedi. I don't think so. I think I just had New Hope, New Hope and then the prequels on DVD. Um, so I finally broke down and did this. It was a great deal. Um, so it was originally marked at $14.99, and I only paid $4.50. So um, happy to add this to the collection. I'm sure I'll get them on Blu-ray at some point, uh, but I'm happy with that for now. Uh, next up for $1.50, um, this is a random movie I'd never heard of, but it has Samuel L. Jackson in it, Against the Wall. Uh, so added to the Sam L. Jackson collection. So happy about that. All right, I'm going to have to move this. Hold on. Uh, all right. Next up, don't really know too much about this one. Um, but Paul Rudd's in it and have a collection of his. It's all as bright with him and Paul Giamatti. And it was only a dollar. Uh, next up, one that's for sale. I have my own copy already. Um, it's out of print, I believe. We got American Flyers with Kevin Costner. If you're interested in that, let me know. Next up for a dollar, I've been eyeing this on Kino Lorber forever. Um, it's a Coen Brothers movie. It always seems like it's a little too expensive, so I picked it up for a dollar on DVD. I'm content with that. So we got Martin Fink with uh, John Goodman and John Turturro. Happy to add that to the collection. Next up for a dollar fifty uh, to add to our music collection. I kind of want to watch this sometime soon. We got the Beatles, the first U.S. visit. Uh, that would be pretty interesting to check out, so I'm looking forward to, to watching that one. Next up, I'm not sure. I know I have at least one of these, and I know this one wasn't the one that I had, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, it was only a dollar, and at some point I wouldn't mind getting the Criterion box set if I like these. Um, but we got Before Sunrise with Ethan Hawke, the, you know, the Richard Linklater, the film. Heard those are great, so I want to check them out here at some point. Next up was one I was just intrigued by. Don't have a collection of gold blooms or anything like that, but we got Beyond Suspicion. For a dollar, decided it's worth checking out. Um, this one I think is probably out of print, but I'm not sure. And I've really enjoyed a couple of the movies of his I've watched recently. I know he's not the most talented actor, but he seems to be very entertaining in most of his his movies. We got Bob Roberts with uh, Tim Robbins in it, so and it sounded intriguing, so decided to pick it up. Next up, um, I know this movie is really long, um, but I always kind of wanted to watch it. So we got Boyhood, uh, another Richard Linklater with Ethan Hawke in it. Um, also has Patricia Arquette and a couple other people. 
it was a dollar as well. Next up is another one I believe just got a Kino release, but for a dollar, I've never seen it, so I had to go ahead and pick it up. We got Chris Elliott and Cabin Boy. Heard of this is like ridiculous, but very funny, so looking forward to watching that one too. Um, this one I was pumped about, didn't have it yet, uh, also a dollar, out of my Gene Hackman collection. We got the chamber with him and, and Robin, Chris O'Donnell in it, so never really heard of this one, so looking forward to watching it. This one I almost thought I already had, but I wasn't sure. Um, only a dollar fifty, so went ahead and got it uh, to add to the Robert De Niro collection. It also has um, Leslie Mann, Danny DeVito, a couple other people, Harvey Keitel, the comedian. Uh, just looking forward to watching this. Got another uh, Gene Hackman one for a dollar, and. The more I think about it, I'm pretty positive I just got the Kino release of it not too long ago. Um, but it's him and somebody else. I'm not even going to attempt that name. We got Company Business. Uh oh, guys. A dollar. A deal. We got another whoopee. Karina, Karina? Uh, her and Ray Liotta. My wife said she's actually watched this and said she really enjoyed it, so. I'm looking forward to checking this one out. So we got another whoopee for a dollar. What a deal. Um, next up, Danny Collins. Also a dollar. Out of the Al Pacino collection. Um, also has Jennifer Gardner, Christopher Plummer, Annette Benning. Yeah, don't really know anything about it. Uh, but for a dollar, happy to add it to the collection. You're not going to believe it. For another dollar fifty, what a deal! We got another whoopee! A day late and a dollar short. Um, this also has Ving Rhames, Mackay Pfeiffer, um, a couple other people in it. But for dollar fifty, add it to the whoopee collection. She's also on the spine there. I really need to remove that sticker because it's covering her face. We got another whoopee. Uh, Add to the Nicolas Cage collection. Watch this one on Netflix. Didn't enjoy it too much, but happy to add it to the collection nonetheless. Um, William Defoe is nuts in it, but dollar fifty. Is that right? No, a dollar. Yeah, dog eat dog. So add a Nicolas Cage collection. Uh, this one, if you watch the Dollar General uh, mess up glitch sale. Um, I get I got this it wasn't part of it, it was full price for $2.95 um, if you're interested in that let me know but I think I'm just gonna take it back so only paid a dollar and got Harper with Paul Newman so thought that was totally worth doing and returning the other so very excited about that all right move these over here oh. okay Next up, for 73 cents, we got another Gene Hackman. This one took me a while to purchase. Um, I have it for my own collection. If you're interested, it is for sale. Um, next up, for a dollar, I was intrigued. It looked interesting. Um, California Suite. It says Neil Simon's California Suite. He didn't direct it, so... Screenplay by him. Um, but it has Michael Caine, Bill Cosby, Jane Fonda. Uh, but I have a Richard Pryor collection going, so. And it looked kind of cool, so. Picked it up. Um, next up for a dollar. I thought the disc might be a non flipper. I was wrong. The artwork's different, so I picked it up. We got Kevin Costner and Gene Hackman in No Way Out. So it's a dollar. Um, I'm going to try to sell this one, so. Another 73 cent one. Uh, the Number Station added the John Cusack collection. Never heard of this one. Um, looks decent. Fairly new, 2012, so. Add that to the Cusack collection. Next step, for a dollar, we got... Objective Burma with Errol Flynn. Thought it was kind of cool to add to the collection. 
Next up, it's not another whoopee, but we got a Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen movie, Passport to Paris. Um, don't think I've ever watched this one, and I used to really enjoy their movies and stuff, so um, it was two dollars and ten cents. <laughs> Good deal, so picked it up. Uh, next up is for sale. Looks like I only paid a dollar for it. We got a triple feature um, put out by Mill Creek of Nixon, Billy Bathgate, and Blaze. I have all these movies for different reasons. If you didn't know, Bruce Willis is in Br Billy Bathgate. I got Blaze for Paul Newman and his collection. Nixon, just because it looked interesting. Uh, Anthony Hopkins in it, and it's an Oliver Stone film. So I have them all in my own collection uh, individually. So if you're interested in this, let me know. Uh, next up, I got a Marilyn Monroe movie. It was a dollar as well. The Prince and the Showgirl. Um, don't really know too much about it, but for a dollar, I decided to pick it up. Um, next up for a dollar as well, Burt Lancaster, Catherine Hepburn, and The Rainmaker. Don't really know too much about this, but with those two in it, I decided it was worth picking up. So, got that to add to the collection. Next up, kind of looked weird, but um, is a dollar fifty. Jack Nicholson and Rebel Rousers. I don't know. Decided to pick it up. Next up, we got Rebound. Uh, the Legend of Earl the Goat Manigault. However you pronounce that. Um, it was a dollar. Add that to the collection. Next up, I've never seen for sale. I don't really know too much about it, but I have a Vince Vaughn collection going. Um, also has Joaquin Phoenix in it, too. Didn't realize that. We got Return to Paradise. Looks like it's one of his um, serious roles, so looking forward to watching that. Next up, uh, I kind of took a chance on this one for a dollar. I think I heard it wasn't very good, but I thought my wife might enjoy it. Um, so we got Scarlett Johansson, Kate McKinnon, uh, Jillian Bell, a couple of other people, Zoe Kravitz, and Rough Knight. Uh, so pick that up for her. Next up, I thought I always heard good things about this movie. I could be wrong on that. Uh, we got Running on Empty for a dollar. And this has uh, River Phoenix in it. So I'm pretty sure I remember somebody talking about how much they liked this one. So picked it up. Figured I'd give it a chance. Next up, we got the Seahawk with Errol Flynn. Thought this looked kind of cool. It was only a dollar as well. So add that to the collection. I have a Jamie Foxx collection going. This is a more recent uh, movie. Looks like 2017. We got Sleepless. So add that to the Jamie Foxx collection. And lastly, uh, my wife likes Amy Schumer kind of and Goldie Hawn. And when she saw the previews for this, she wanted to see it. So decided to go ahead and pick it up for it. It was $1.50. So we got Snash with uh, yeah, Amy Schumer and Goldie Hawn. So. Got those. All right, we're down to the last stack here from Disc Replay. Next up, we got Soldier with Kurt Russell. Hadn't picked this one up yet, so decided to go ahead and get it for the Kurt Russell collection. Next up is for sale. If you're interested, let me know. Um, I got a good deal on it. We got the Species 3 pack on DVD. If you're interested, let me know. Next up is another one where I just got a Dollar General for $2.95. Um, this time I only paid 73 cents. Uh, so we got Burt Reynolds and Starting Over. So I'm going to again return that since I hadn't opened it yet. Next up we got Stoned Unrated. This is about one of the founding members, members of the Rolling Stones. Uh, I don't really know this, this guy's story, so I thought this looked interesting. Uh, next up, I'm pumped about this, and it was only a dollar pretty cool excuse me I don't know if, if they um, so it's really a CD I don't know if they just gave me the 30 70 percent off anyway just because or what but I only paid a dollar for it so it's Super Mario history 1985 to 2010 and what it is so it's a CD like I said and it's the soundtracks to 20 
Mario games. I don't know if you're going to be able to... Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that. It's red with gold. Like, I can't hardly even read it. But I thought this was really neat. I'm excited to add it to my computer and my library. Um, and I'll probably put it on display with my video game stuff. It came in a Wii case, too, so that's kind of cool. Um, next up, I wanted to watch this one when it came out. Never got around to it. So for a dollar, I definitely had to pick it up, especially because I have a Will Ferrell collection. We got the house with him and Amy Poehler. So looking forward to watching that one. Uh, next up, I got two copies, uh, both for sale. Paid 73 cents and a dollar. We got Very Bad Things with Christian Slater and Cameron Diaz. Already have it in my collection, but got that. Next up was one I used to have in my collection, and I don't know what happened, but... Um, Somehow I lost it or something happened to it. So for 73 cents, we got Waiting, the unrated two-disc uh, collection. So happy to add that back. Next up, and lastly, was a dollar, uh, the War Wagon with John Wayne and Kurt Douglas. I just thought it's cool that they did a movie together. I didn't realize that. So I'm looking forward to watching that one for sure. All right, so that's everything from the disc replay. Um, when it originally rang up, it was $397 with a 70% off. Ended up only being $111.38. Uh, so with tax, it was $119.18. So I got a lot of amazing stuff. Um, really excited to check, check a lot of it out. So if you're interested in anything that I said was for sale, let me know. And then lastly, um, on actual Black Friday, I went to Walmart. Oh. Almost had a takedown. Imagine that. Um, get my receipt out here. Um, I highly recommend if you need to go grocery shopping to go on Black Friday at Walmart uh, because it is really easy to do the grocery shopping part. And then they have a lot of registers open, but um, Movies weren't too bad, too. I went in the afternoon, so everything had kind of been picked through. But I got a lot of good stuff here. So first up, we got the two-movie collection of The Emperor's New Groove and Kronk's New Groove. Um, so this was $9.96. So add that to the collection. I have recently picked up The Emperor's New Groove on DVD. So if you're interested in that, let me know. So next up, and that's why I'm either returning or doing the giveaway for The Kingsman and the Golden Circle. Uh, so for $9.96, I got uh, both of them um, in this collection case. Uh, so they don't have individual slips, but I kind of would rather have this. So I thought it was cool to, to pick up. Um, next up, which I'm glad I picked up here because I almost did it at Best Buy and put it back because it was $9.96 at checkout. Um, this was only $7.96. I know it wasn't that great, but I have all the other ones and my wife hadn't watched it yet. So we got Jurassic World. Uh, Fallen Kingdom, and it came with slip, so for $7.96, oh, definitely had to do that. Uh, next up, which I think I did online for about the same price, if not more, so I'll be returning that. Uh, $8.96 on 4K, we got Blade Runner 2049, um, so I'll have to pick up the first one on, on uh, 4K. I had waited on getting the Blu-ray, so I'm glad I did, because... $8.96 for this is a great deal. Uh, next up, I finally upgraded this, so I'll probably be selling the DVD box set I have. If you're interested in that, let me know. Um, this is the Blu-ray box set, and this is a, a cool celebrating the 45th anniversary limited edition. Looks like I got 6,536 of 45,000, but we got the Godfather trilogy on Blu-ray. So, And it looks like it comes with some extra stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so happy to add that. Uh, next up, which I have recently bought a couple of them, so I'll be selling them the other ones I have. I finally just went ahead and got the Alien Quadrilogy. quadrilogy. It's kind of weird. Um, so it's got Alien Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection, and this was nine ninety six. So I have, I believe, Aliens and Alien 3 maybe already on Blu-ray and then I have a three set of the first three on DVD so those will all be for sale and then same thing with uh, 
uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes um, and why I'm returning it. Um, so this is the Planet of the Apes trilogy of the new ones. Um, and this was only $9.96 too, so happy to add this collection. So it's got Rise, Dawn, and War. And now I think about it, I think I was missing War and already had Dawn. So that really worked out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, really happy to add this too because I'll just have Planet of the Apes trilogy on the on the bookshelf instead of them split up between Rise, Dawn, and War, which is pretty cool. And then lastly, kind of random, uh, Dudley Moore in this movie. Uh, it was only $1.96. So I was intrigued. We got Santa Claus in the movie. Uh, so yeah, that's everything I got in store Black Friday week weekend. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know I got a lot and this is a long video, but um, like I said, part two will hopefully be this following week um, when, once I get everything in the mail from the online purchases I made. So Hope you guys enjoyed this, and again, thank for your support and the subscriptions. Um, make sure to let people know about the channel if they're into movies and media and CDs and video games. So, this is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical Media will never die. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man.